Chow Maker. Check this out, my new drawer made just for the Anycubic Cobra S1. <laughs> Slides right under your printer, keeps everything neat, and guess what? A custom riser is coming soon. It's already in testing. Stay tuned. But let's talk about the drawer. As usual, you've got two drawers. One for the poop, aka print scraps. One for your tools and spare parts. There are two side mounts where you can store up to eight print plates. Super clean, super organized. The drawer rails are brand new too. Faster print times and less hardware needed. Easy peasy. I printed the front panel the carbon fiber look and honestly, it looks super sexy. If you've got textured build plates that give you that finish, you've got to try it. it totally changes the vibe. Size-wise, I kept things compact. Drop the height from 200 down to 180. Bit shorter, a bit sleeker, still super functional. Inside the drawers, you'll find modular inserts. In the poop drawer, you get two boxes, one in the back for scraps, and one in the front you can use however you want. Or just dish the boxes and use the whole space. <laughs> totally up to you. In the tool drawer, you'll find boxes that use the Gridfinity system. You can stick with mine or print your own. Customization is king. I printed all the parts in standard PETG, and I recommend you do the same. Avoid PETG HF. It doesn't hold up well to heat. ABS or ASA? Too much hassle. If you want an alternative, go with PCTG. Solid choice. All right, I think that covers everything. Let me know what you think in the comments. Follow me here and on socials. And if you want to support my work, you know the drill. Buy me a coffee is always appreciated. Catch you in the Makerverse. Ciao.